In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use combo boxes in your Movicon Next project. So to start off with, let's go over to Toolbox, to DB Connectors, and we want a combo box. I'm also going to just put an Edit Display box on screen as well, so we can see the selected value in a moment. So in order to use a combo box, we've got to have a data source and a selected tag item. Now we can do this either using SQL or using tags. In this example, we're going to use tags. So I'm going to go to IO data server. I'm going to add a new tag. I'm going to call this my list. and I want the data source to be a string. I'm going to go to execution advanced and where we have initial value this is where I'm going to put the values that the user can select so we put the first option in and then we separate it using a pipe which is next to the Z key on your keyboard on a UK layout so I put this as stop and run I'm going to create another tag for the selected item And again, it's got to be the same data type. If you leave it as an integer, all you'll see is the selected index from the list, not the value. I'll come back to my combo box, to properties. And my tag, this is my selected. And then my item source is my list. And just so we can see the change in the tag, I'm going to also tag this up to be the selected as well. I'm going to save and start the runtime. So now we've the runtime started. We can see we've got the options in the drop down. So that's how you use a combo box in a Movicon Next project. Thanks for watching.